So a fairly standard cumulative frequency diagram question about the weekly wages of 80 factory workers. So the frequency table tells us how much, um, how many factory workers are between certain intervals. So we know that 15 uh, factory workers earn between 200 and 300 pounds. Cumulative frequency always goes back to the bottom numbers. You can see all the numbers here are 100. So the first interval is exactly the same as the interval in the frequency table. So we can write in 8. But the second interval, most importantly, here contains the first two from the frequency table. So that's 8 plus 15 is 23. And exactly the same, the third interval then contains the first three numbers. You can actually get that by doing, as you've already counted the first two intervals, 23 and 30. We'll give you the next one at 53. Then we've got 17 more to add on to 53. That gives us 70, 77, and then 80. And that's the first part for one mark. So we've got to draw the graph. We've got to use it to estimate the interquartile range. And we've also got to work out how many people earn more than £530. So we'll do that um, on the graph. So I've plotted points on the graph. Uh, remember that your cumulative frequency goes on the y-axis and the end of each interval um, goes, the weekly wage goes on the x-axis. So the first point being at sort of 200 and 8. And you've got that from um, the table previously. So the most important thing is cumulative frequency is the on the y-axis and your end of your intervals is on the x. So now we draw a smooth curve through the points. Uh, mine's a bit rough and ready because I'm using the iPad, but you get the idea. And we're asked to find the interquartile range. Well, we've got 80 scores, so our upper quartile is the 60th score, and our lower quartile will be the 20th score. So we read off and then take the difference. So as a rough guide, mine's looking like 440, Again, they always allow a bit of tolerance here because everyone might draw their curves slightly differently. I've got 440 and 270. Now I must take the difference for the interquartile range. So the difference there will be 170. So I have an interquartile range of 170. Now I'm asked to estimate how many workers earn over £530. So I need to find 530 on the bottom scale. That's a nice easy scale with one square standing for 10. So we'll move up and then come over here. So it's around about 70 pounds, 70 people really. So there's, so it's people on this axis, not pounds of course. So it's 530 pounds coming up. There's 70 people who earn up to 530 pounds. So there's 10 then that earn over. So 10 people over. £530. Don't make the mistake of saying 70. It's these people between the 70th and the maximum amount at 80. So it's 10 people over £530.